Today for these tutorial videos, we're going to be talking about trend lines and how they can be used for many engineering applications in Excel. So to get started, we're just going to go up to cell A1 and we're going to type X. And then in B1, we're going to type Y. As column A, we're going to make a whole series of data counting up by one. And as we know, we can do that by highlighting these two, dragging these out, and we're going to go all the way up to 10. Now we're going to we're going to make a line from scratch. So if you remember, the equation for a line is y equals m times x plus b. So let's go ahead and make some constants here. We can do that up in C1. We can say b equals, and then we're going to give it some kind of value. And let's let's give it a, a three, I guess. Also, because we're working with constants like we did before, let's go ahead and label this B so it can be easily put inside of an equation. Here we're going to do the same thing for M, and let's give this a slope of 2. Let's go ahead and re relabel M, M. All right, so now we have our constants here, B and M, and we can make this equation here equals m times x plus b. That's going to give us some value and we're going to go ahead and drag this out all the way. So now we have our line. Let's go ahead and turn this into a scatter plot so we can see it. Let's select both of these. Go up to insert, scatter, and we're going to do this one without any lines. And boom, there we go. Now, instead of working with the axes and things that we'd normally work with, we're just going to skip that and get right to what we want to talk about, and that is making a trend line. A trend line, what it does is it takes a whole bunch of points, and it makes a close-fitting line that fits the points as closely as possible. Now, because these are actually a line, we should be able to get a line to go straight through them. And we do this by clicking on the points, right-clicking, Go to Add Trend Line. Now it gives us a whole bunch of different kinds of trend lines. We are going to use a linear one. It's going to be a straight line. It's not going to have any kind of curve to it. And then we can do some other things, like we can display the equation that it finds on the chart. So let's go ahead and do that and close it. And here we go. We have this line. You can also move this equation somewhere it's easier to see. And sure enough, y equals m times x plus b. So now if we go here, we can actually change these values. Remember B is the y-intercept. Let's go ahead and change it to five, hit enter, and you'll see that now it's going through the point five. We can also make this negative and have it have a negative slope. Let's go ahead and make it a negative three. And we've changed that. So we can use trend lines to, to follow points of data. In, in the next video, we'll talk about um, trend lines when they don't follow a specific path like this.